Excuse me. Hi. I was walking by trying to find Cheesecake Factory, and then I was wondering just why we haven't met yet. Like, it's just straight up like that. Oh, really? Yeah. Sorry, I have a boyfriend. Do you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> His name's Charles H. Hughes III. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. yeah he's, he's a nice guy, but, you know, he just, he needs to get his act together. Pardon? I saw some men are. I know, I know. That's why that's why I don't date them anymore. I'm planning on leaving them. Oh yeah, you should, definitely. Yeah. He just he leaves the toilet seat up all the time. I fell in the toilet one time and then he had to like fish me out. Then you know he had to call the ambulance, the ambulance then like brought a fishing rod to fish me out of the toilet. It was just a mess. Yeah. Yeah, but I see you're happily taken and blinged out looking like you're on your way to a music video right oh, now. Oh, I'm going to a party. <laughs> Oh, on the on the way to a party. Okay, yeah. we'll have fun tonight. Yeah, thank you so much. And then uh, enjoy the rest of the day. Okay. If I showed that clip that I just showed you guys to my younger self, I would have thought there was no way that a guy who was so scared shitless to even talk to one girl, let alone in front of other people, would be ever able to pull that off. Back then, just the thought of rejection was enough to make my armpits all sweaty and my hands get all clammy and. I'd start to freeze up and I'd just be paralyzed by fear. And I was just terrified of embarrassing myself, not only in front of the girl, but in front of everyone else that just so happened to be watching, right? I felt like I was putting on this performance, the Shakespearean performance for everybody to critique me as I'm going out and trying to hit on this girl right here. And it really did take me a while to learn how to take rejection and flip that shit on its head to actually make it fun. If I got rejected by a girl, it would ruin my whole day before. And I think I'm never gonna approach a girl again. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys how you can do the same, how you can start to make rejection fun and also increase your confidence in the process as well too. It's important to understand that everybody gets rejected, right? Whether you're 500 pounds and bedridden or Henry Cavill, right? <laughs> Don't believe the lies, nobody gets 100% of the shots. It doesn't mean you're ugly or not good enough or not worthy enough of attracting a girl. Don't get caught up in the negative thoughts like no girl will ever like me. Am I ever gonna get a girlfriend? Okay, it's all bull. So instead of letting rejection knock you down and keep you there, like the great Rocky Balboa once said, it ain't about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. If you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth, but you gotta be willing to take the hits. <coughs> if you guys have been actually getting out there and you're constantly getting rejected and you're not getting the results, or you're just trying to overcome that approach anxiety to actually go out and do it, and you need help with that, you want that customized, tailored solution for you, go ahead and book a free 15 minute call in the description below and I'll help you out with that. And then by reframing rejection, what it means to me, right? It actually started to become pretty addicting. Right, to constantly get rejected or to risk being rejected because I started to frame it as a learning experience, as a tool to really sit down and analyze how I can improve every single time and then making sure I'm making those improvements, those subtle adjustments with every approach. I'd be fine tuning my communication skills, my vocal projection, my vocal tonality, how my body language was coming across what my speech patterns were like, where I was putting my hands, how close I was standing to the girl. This helped me improve my confidence and my social skills pretty quickly because I was doing these approaches fast because I didn't give a shit if they rejected me or not, right? Thanks for saving me my time. I would rather a girl tell me that she has a boyfriend and she's not interested two seconds in than to waste my time by talking to her and then next thing you know, <laughs> 20 minutes in, oh, I have a boyfriend. Right, just get it over with, rip the Band-Aid off. I also started to realize that getting rejected was never as bad as we make it out to be in our minds, right? I know a lot of us wanna go up and talk to a girl, but she's with another guy, and you're thinking that it's her boyfriend, and then you know he's gonna deck you <laughs> if you go up and try talking to her, or you know, you're gonna make an ass out of yourself, you're gonna go up, a girl's gonna reject you, everyone's gonna point and laugh. <laughs> We tried to hit on a girl! <laughs> right? It just does not happen. We are our own worst enemies. We come up with these horrible outcomes in our heads and they never truly happen. I've been doing this for 12 years and the worst I've ever gotten was, sorry, I'm not interested. Sorry, I have a boyfriend. That's it. 
big deal. And I started gaining confidence in myself, in my own abilities, because I was keeping these promises I made to myself. I would tell myself I would go up and approach that girl in my mind, and then I would do it. And then with that, I build up all this trust. I build up all this confidence that I had in myself. Because every time I wasn't going through with a promise I made to myself, every time I would tell myself I would go up and approach that girl, or ask that girl out, and then not do it, I would lose faith in myself. I would lose trust and confidence in myself. And that is not gonna get me anywhere, right? Practice making these promises to yourself and actually following through with the promise, right? So you don't start to lose this trust in yourself. So you don't start to lose confidence in yourself. There's this one quote from Awaken the Giant Within by Tony Robbins and I absolutely love it and it's so true. Everything that we do is either linked to pain and pleasure. Before, I was linking pleasure to not going up to the girl, right? Oh, phew. At least I dodged that bullet. At least I didn't potentially risk my embarrassment by getting rejected by her, right? When that was the completely wrong mindset because I'd go home and I'd kick myself and I wouldn't be able to sleep because I'd be thinking about coulda, shoulda, wouldas, right? So then what I started to do is link pleasure to the fact that, hey, you know what? I'm possibly going up and meeting another girl or meeting a girl that I could go on a date with that I could potentially end up down the line making my girlfriend or at least get some experience, right? If I got rejected, I'd be getting experience, which is what I needed to do, right? So that was now pleasure. And I was linking pain to rejecting myself, to not even giving myself the chance by subconsciously telling myself I'm not good enough to go up and approach her, right? What do you think that does? If you consistently tell yourself you're not good enough to go up and talk to a girl over and over and over and over and over again, Right? Do you think that's gonna make you better? And there's just so many factors out of your control. Right? All you can focus on is what you can control. Right? When you're going up and talking to somebody, you don't know what that person is going through. They could be on their way to go take a shit and drop the kids off at the pool. A girl could be bloated, her dog could have just died, her grandma could have just died. Right? She's, on a hur she's in a hurry to get somewhere. She could actually have a boyfriend, she's late for class, whatever it is. Right? So she's not rejecting you for that person that you are right? She's just re rejecting you in that situation, in that circumstance. Hey, who knows? Maybe the stars align and you guys are in a different friggin' mosquito. You guys are in a different situation or scenario down the line. Maybe it'll work out. She may not even hear what you're saying because she's so focused on something else, right? She's so fo A lot of us are time travelers, right? Just thinking about, oh, I got to get to the next destination. Oh, I should have turned the stove off at home. Very few people are present anymore. She's probably used to so many guys just coming up and hitting on her in the wrong way, right? So she's already got that response in the back of her mind, right? So it's just like, no, not interested, no, 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 thanks, right? So you have to work around that auto response and continue to work on yourself as a man so that you show her that, holy shit, like this guy not only is smooth, he's confident, he's respectable, he's not gonna be like all these other guys and just, fall into me when they're drunk or you know come up with these sexual remarks and try to escalate too quickly or you know whatever she's had to experience in the past so you have to continue to work on yourself as a man and you know what you have to get rejected and knocked down multiple times to be able to do that to be able to learn and actually get that experience and once you strengthen this relationship that you have with yourself once you have that confidence in yourself that you're going to keep making promises to yourself that you're going to keep continuing to push yourself out of the comfort zone when you've been through that adversity when you've been rejected enough times you get to a point where you're numb to it and you don't give a f and you get more bummed out if you don't go up and potentially get rejected than if you do Right, so <laughs> that's where the game begins. That's where the fun really starts. When you can go up and just authentically be yourself and have fun without being too in your head, wondering what the perfect thing to say is, having that mindset that you are already good enough, you're already worthy enough, and that, hey, you know what? Let's just see if I like her. Let's see if we get along. That mindset is going to trump anything else. And you know what? <laughs> have fun with the whole process. She rejects you, she rejects you, but at least you did it. At least you tried. At least you did what 99% of guys don't even have the balls to do.